Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I've got some tips for doing side hits on your snowboard. Side hits are a super fun thing to do to develop your park riding, to get more comfortable with getting air, and just overall allows you to ride more of the mountain and add some more freestyle maneuvers into it. So the first thing you wanna do with a side hit is spot it and make sure it's got a clean takeoff and landing. Both of those are really important that as you're approaching, you got a nice little takeoff and the landing is free and clear. What you don't wanna do is take off and have a sketchy landing or be landing into like a bunch of skiers or snowboarders. So having a good landing, spotting it and making sure it's clear is important. The next thing you wanna do is line up the jump so that you're taking off straight and landing straight. So I'm coming in on a turn and now I'm gonna set my board straight, take off, land straight, and then put on the brakes. This may be actually the most important thing with side hits is that you're taking off straight because if you're taking off on an angle, that can really throw off your jump. Then come back out into the run, pop it straight. So the great thing with side hits as well is that this is where you can practice ollieing, using your arms, bending your knees, doing all the things you need to do to get more air. And having some space to do that really helps. So down below, we have a nice little side hit right here. And when you have that really high pop into the air as well, it helps you to land straight down and very clean as well. So on this one, a little curve, lining it up, coming in straight, load it up, bend my knees, ride it out with a couple turns. So the awesome thing with side hits too is that you can really start with them small and slow. So right here, there's not really much going on, but there are some nice bumps in the snow. This is kind of come through, get some small air, a couple speed checks, another small air, a couple more speed checks. And even if you don't get any air, but you're kind of riding through it, absorbing things, and just getting the feel of riding through these kinds of bumps. On natural features, judging the speed is even more important because you wanna make sure that the speed you're taking is gonna get you to the landing. So coming up here, I've got a jump that needs a decent amount of speed. So I'm coming in and landing in the sweet spot. Then I got a small jump. So judging the speed is super important because you don't want to overshoot something and just land flat. We've got another small jump here. So on this one, I'm not going to take as much speed because I want to land just like on the sweet spot. We've got a few hits down here that are blind and I don't want to hit those because I'm not super familiar with this mountain. So I just don't want to launch something not knowing what's on the other side, but we'll find something where we can see the landing. Or what you can do is you can get a friend to spot the landing for you, someone you trust. So I'm gonna get my filmer Yannick to spot this side head jump down here and just like tell me what the landing is gonna be like. Woo. Here's another one. I think I can kind of see the landing of this one. Woo. Can you tell me what's on the other side of this cat track? So the cool thing with these side hits as well is that you don't have to just do your straight airs. You can also work on spins, like doing some 180s. So just getting used to doing stuff like 360s. They're like adding grabs in. It's an awesome way to practice your freestyle outside of the park. Throw in like a little shifty. The other thing with side hits is you really need to land on the angle of the jump. So on a lot of these, you can't land straight. You actually have to land on an angle and that just sets you up to ride it out and not skid out. Woo. I mean, the sides of the runs are the best places to be if you're a freestyle snowboarder. And I think the biggest thing with side hit progression, you almost have a limitless number of side hits to practice on. Whereas in the terrain park, there may be only three or four jumps. 
in one run of side hits, you can get 20 or 30 jumps going, making your progress just that much faster from getting the mileage. Woo! If you have any questions, hit me up down in the comments. Also subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp, and I'll put a link to all my gear in the description. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there practicing side hits, and I'll see you in the next video.